Hello and welcome back to my channel, it's Alinka and today I am going to be doing a fake tanning routine for the first time ever in my life. <laughs> future me from now on has introduced the video and we know we're going to be fake tanning today which is literally the first time I've ever done this kind of thing ever in my life. I've never ever ever had a spray tan and I've never ever had a fake tan that I actually bought and like I applied it into my skin and of my birthday coming up next month June babies, comment below. Because of my birthday coming up, I thought I'm gonna go big out. So about a week ago, or about 10 days ago or so, I started researching, I mean intense researching, on different kind of tans that you can get. And originally I really wanted to get a spray tan. And as we all know, these spray tans, I've never had one, so I kind of was researching it. I found the place that I really liked here in Oxford, it's actually in town centre, and it has really good reviews. But then, you know like when you're on YouTube and then you kind of start like... I started clicking more and more and more and more and more. And I that like got really deep in into all these people using um, fake tanners at home. So I started looking into that and before I knew it, everybody was talking about one company that they were all using and they were using the same thing. All the people that I like to watch on YouTube were also using them. To which I kind of thought to myself like, okay, this must be good. If like five of the videos I just watched have used the same exact product, there is something to it, right? So I started researching more and more and more and then I saw the price of it and I was like, wow. And then I started comparing it to the different ones. I kind of thought to myself, there's really no point going and buying cheap fake tires over the counter because they, they like wash off, they get patchy and they have like your skin orange. And that's not what I want, you know? It's, it's gonna be my big birthday. I'm going to be officially an adult. So I'm wanting to look like a goddess, you know, something that Beyonce will be proud. So that's kind of what I'm, what I'm trying to get to with my big day. It arrived, and I mean it arrived about three, four days ago. And obviously I opened it when it arrived because I was like, oh my gosh, I want to see how it looks like. The tanner that I bought is no other than Loving Tan. This is not sponsored guys, so before anybody comes at me, this is not sponsored. I'm genuinely excited by all the videos that I've watched. As you can see, I was about to rip it open when I got the package, but then I sustained myself for a couple of days from opening it. So the little thing came with a little note that looks like this. And it says, she leaves a sparkle wherever she goes. This is so cute. This is something that I would write. And then it's here that looks like it's been written in pen, but it says, thank you so much for your order. We cannot wait to see you in your loving tan, the LT team. And they have all the little socials and all that stuff. And I think it's adorable. So the product came like this and it has a cute little ribbon and it's kind of wrapped in cute little paper. This looks cute and it looks huge. Oh my God, it's massive. <gasps> also, another thing that I really liked about this and why I chose this company in the end and to spend so much coin, apart from its reviews, they do not test on animals and it's also recyclable. There's no alcohol in there. There's no parabens. And, and the best thing about it is it's honestly made in Australia. I'm about to get the Sunkiss Australian tan. So I ended up choosing the two hour express deluxe bronzing mousse. I think they actually had a smaller one, but I decided to go for the big one because I was like, I'm buying something already something expensive. I'd rather throw in the extra 10 pounds. The thing that it came with is also a deluxe applicator mitt. These are I think five or six pounds originally. So I got the glove extra by watching a video on the McKnight twins. 
there is also another lady that was also doing this kind of video and you can also get like a scrubby dubby dub for your skin as free instead or a glove so i'm gonna link both of these people let's open this up peeps <gasps> it's so soft the inside kind of looks like this so i'm guessing it's so kind of you don't slip away from it oh it's really soft wow i'm vibing i'm kind of excited to use this tomorrow morning I honestly wonder how it... <gasps> Has anybody else ever opened this like on, on camera? Oh, it smells all right. So this is how it looks inside. <gasps> I really want to know how it looks like. That looked really dark. <gasps> it says professional strength, natural olive color, quick dry and bronzer. So I've got three essentials. got water, tanner and the glove. I'm not going to lie, I am a tad scared of what to expect. I had prepped my skin last night when I also shaved and exfoliated. What I use is the Baby Johnson's lotion. And I also used it about an hour or so ago on my dry areas like elbows and the knees here. And that way, hopefully the tan won't stick to it. This is my first time doing it, so I don't know what I'm doing. Everything I'm doing is what I've looked online, what to do and how to do it. Apply moisturizer liberally to any dry areas, including your hands, feet, ankles, wrists, knees and elbows. So I've done that. Pump a small amount of mousse onto your loving hand deluxe applicator mitt. Using circular motions, apply mousse directly to your body, blending as you to ensure even Coverage allows 50 seconds before dressing. I'm going to do, oh my gosh, I'm going to do two pumps to start off with. And I'm going to start at my biggest area. I am now done with the bottom half. This is genuinely time consuming. I think I'm just going to carry on, but so far it kind of looks like I have a nice tan. And obviously it's only been like 10 minutes and I think it's still developing. I am now going to try and do my tummy. So I'm just gonna do this. And then I'm going to do two puffs and I'm going to do the back. I know that like on the website they have kind of back tanners or something. I don't know. So apparently the back is the hardest part. Okay, so <laughs> I've just done my back and my front in this area i've just got my arms to do and my face and the two hour express so far it's not sticky or anything it's all nice and i can see how like you can just go in and wear an outfit after this so going off my arms what i'm going to do i'm going to pump one because i don't want to get too much my arms are not as big as my legs and i'm just gonna work my way up And we use a tiny bit more. And then for my arms here, I'm just dragging it. What's left on the mitten. And this is how it looks. I've got my kind of wet cloth that I use. It's kind of filled with all different kind of stuff because I use it for everything. But it's you know it's reusable. You get some nice lukewarm water on there, and you just kind of like do what everybody else is doing but you know helping the environment peeps so the last thing to do is now my face and yesterday i kind of cleaned my two old brushes it has been recommended to use like kind of dense brushes the denser the better i don't really know if i'm doing this correctly <laughs> oh it looks like i have a beard <laughs> Maybe using a brush is like overrated, I don't know anymore. <laughs>
pretty pleased with this tan, the way it came out. Yesterday I fell asleep about like really early for what the time I'm usually going to sleep at. But when I woke up early in the morning, I was like, oh, it's too early to do anything. So I went back to sleep and I woke up again, it was 11. So I had like an over 12 hours sleep. So this was on for a ridiculously long time. And as you can see, my face is overly tanned. So do my advice is to people out there, don't put it on your face as much because especially if you don't wear makeup, you don't want it to be overly tanned. I don't mind this because one, this is my first time ever doing it, so I've learned a few things. One, always moisturize your elbows and my knees and my feet and it's fine. Now I also know not to put so much on my face, but I think the best result is to put it on before you go to sleep and then have that eight to 10 hours to develop in, in your skin and wash it off after about two hours off your face and then just go to sleep and let that develop naturally. I don't know what else to say, like I like it. I'm gonna now, the price, I have this now for the rest of the summer and I can top this up and you can layer it up and all that stuff, which is cool. For the amount of money, oh, I paid 47 pounds for this, by the way. But the reason why I decided to use this is because I know it's a good color. It does not leave any streaks. Like I look ridiculously flawless right now and I'm loving it. Uh, it's beautiful, it's natural. I have this, I've got the mitt with it. I can keep reusing it for the next couple of months to come, which I'm happy about. For me, it's an investment. If I've got friends that wanna try it, they can try it. Like I'm not stingy or anything, there's a lot in here. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. And if you guys wanna to talk about your tanning experiences, if you wanna know about it, or if you have any more questions that you maybe would like to know, leave me a comment my mom just came home and i went to show her how it looks like and she literally said that it looks really dark um i don't know if you can see him overall i kind of just wanted to say that i think it's a really <laughs> so you can see him it's a really really nice product to use what is i'm squishing you is that okay so i hope you all have a really really nice day Subscribe for, for more of me and remember to always stay kind, stay humble and always do you at the end of the day.